so this is the Casto Win A3.3, launched approximately four years ago. Um, there are five saws in the range, ranging from 330 millimetres right up to 1060 millimetres. And they're really general purpose production saws, twin column design for pretty much every steel stockholder out there, putting everything from non-ferrous all the way up to nickel alloys as well. Casto have always been known for the, the top end of all machines. And a few years ago, I think uh, the decision was made that we needed to be more present in that middle range of general purpose soaring. Um, since we launched this, we've sold over, over I think, 60 to 70 machines in the UK alone. Uh, and the biggest benefit really is how easy it is to program. So for example, a traditional machine, the operator is left a lot of the time to have a look at the material and think, right, how would I cut this? And they're working from charts or they're working from knowledge or their own book. With this machine, really, it brought on a new advent of being able to take that material, find it in a list of materials, say how many pieces they would like off at what length, and press start. It's really that easy. It's a Siemens touchscreen interface. Uh, it goes into a lot more depth and detail. So for example, on the service side, the service engineers can go into the programs and check for uh, accuracies and when they're doing services, certain values. But of course, on a day-to-day -day basis, all you need to know is what's the material, the diameter, how many pieces you want, and uh, the length of cut. And that's really what it gives the, the customer. It can cut to even non-ferrous, so plastics as well. Um, we have cut wood on it and plastic, but obviously from aluminium all the way up to nickel alloy. If you are cutting materials harder, so duplex, nickel alloys, then really this isn't the right machine. This is a bimetal machine. Um, the big brother to this is called the, the Castor Wind Pro, and this is a, a dual lead ball screw machine, and it's designed to take carbide blades. Typically three to five times quicker than any other bimetal machines on the, on the market. Um, and it can also use bimetal blades, so it has bimetal program and carbide program. Um, and again, it's, it's very much for all material range, but really when you've got the harder middle range to top end. And then above that, our, our main machine really is going to be the Casto Tech. Uh, the Tech, we have well over 100 of these machines, and these are machines that are the, the top of the top of the top. This is on the new, new machine, it's a 15 kilowatt motor, 30 meters to 300 meters on speed drive and really it's aimed at uh, very high production in uh, lower alloys and aluminiums and mid-range carbons and then the highest production on nickel based alloys so they're very hard it's with carbide blades. Yeah it's, it's been very positive so we bought this machine to market because we have that area that that uh, I think we were missing out in that mid-range section for production soaring. Most of the customers that have bought these have inquired as the second machines. A lot of them have two or three machines even. Similar to the tech, once we get a machine in there and it proves itself, we sell quite a few of them. Uh, yeah, very positive feedback. I think a lot of customers were looking for a higher end saw in that middle sector. The nice thing is it's a production saw, so the customer needs to have enough material to be able to get it out in a day. If, the, if for example, uh, in the week, they get towards the end of the week and they don't need to do quite as much production. They can always slow the machine down and get better blade life. But really, this machine needs to be worked at least kind of eight hours a day production soaring. It has some special features. So, for example, we have something called Casto Sense and Respond. Sense is uh, really more of a safety feature. The blade can come down because it knows what the material is. It knows the hardness of material and it knows what it can cut that material at. So the blade will come down 10 times faster than normal and actually hit the material. But it doesn't damage the blade because within three microseconds it changes to the correct value. The advantage is if, for example, an operator, because you can never get rid of these mistakes, has put in the wrong material, then it will uh, allow for it, it'll slow down or it will even speed up as well. The second thing, more importantly, is Casto Respond. So on Respond, particularly with tube and section, as you cut through the material wall, you've got solid material, but once you've cut through that wall, it is just the side walls, a lot less section. So our machine will speed up during the cut, and it does this by monitoring the load on the blade and the tooth pitch and the material. And if it can go faster, it will do, up to about 80% faster uh, on every cut automatically. So if you're bundle cutting or doing tubes, it cuts through, speeds up through the cut, and then slower out the bottom again, typically two or three times faster than most of the saws soaring.